Hello Virgo, this is Renee and welcome to my channel. If you're new, if you are returning, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for your support, for your likes and your comments. I appreciate you. Now Virgo, let's get into this. What is coming in for Virgo? For 2023, what is coming in for Virgo? What can Virgo expect in 2023? What's coming next for Virgo? Okay, we have the Five of Cups. We have the Hangman. We have the tower. We have justice. Wow. Three arcana all together. Very powerful. We have the two of wands. We have the five of swords. We have the strength. The strength right underneath the hangman. Wow. We have the five of wands. The star. Okay. Wow. And we have the king of wands. Okay. What you may not see coming. What you may not expect you may have love coming in, Virgo. If you're if you're single, if you're looking for love, you may have love coming in. Uh, if not love, this is someone who's here to support you. Someone who's very nurturing, very supportive. This may be a mothering type. They may um, provide you with care and nourishment that your soul needs. But I feel like the Queen of Cups is coming in for you. That's something that you may not be expecting, uh, Virgo. So yes, if you are ready to love, this may be coming in for you. Okay, we have the Five of Cups and the Hangman. Okay, so with the Five of Cups energy, I feel like you're leaving something behind. I feel like you're letting go of some kind of energy, some kind of person, some kind of place. Something that you know doesn't give you that happy feeling, that energy, that positive vibration like it did before. I feel like you've outgrown this person, this place, or this thing. So you're moving away from it because you know that whatever lies ahead is something better, more nourishing, more satisfying. Something that's going to be more plentiful for you, um, Virgo. And I feel like it's taking you a long time to gain this wisdom. It's, it's taking you a long time to gain this different perspective about letting this go. But I feel like you finally made the choice. You finally decided that whatever this is, you just don't want it in your life anymore. You don't want to, if it's a thing, you, you don't want it to take up your space. Um, you don't want it to just overwhelm you anymore. It's just one more thing to clean, one more thing to tidy, one more thing to take care of. And I feel like you're walking away from that. Okay, now you have the tower and the justice. So, you know, with this tower, I feel like this is you getting rid of these things. I feel like this is you setting yourself free. When I'm looking at this card, I feel like this lightning, this spark of energy has hit this tower. And there's no doors on this tower. This person is being freed only by this spark of energy. Only by this idea, this new thought, new beginning, has this person been freed. And I, I feel like that's you, Virgo. I feel like this is your freedom. This is what's going to lead to your balance. What's going to lead to you really taking care of yourself, focusing on yourself. This is your truth being told. 
And I feel like that's exactly what you're moving into. You're moving into your new truth, a new way of your life. And I feel like this is life changing. You have the two of wands. So with the two of wands, I feel like you're no longer waiting for results. I feel like you've made this choice. You're looking towards your future. You're making your plans. And you're very set on what kind of situation that you, your heart desires. And I feel like this is you really holding these expectations in your hand and just really appreciating whatever it is, really appreciating what the future can bring. I feel like this is you, Virgo. Okay, now we have the Five of Swords and the strength card so i feel like whatever challenges that you go through whatever obstacles that come your way i feel like you're going to overcome them with the strength card you have the strength you have the courage you have all the knowledge you need to overcome any obstacles any um challenges that you may face so I'm not worried about any challenges and I, I don't think you need to worry about any challenges because I think that they'll be very overcomable. And now as I'm looking at this at, at these cards, I'm really noticing the fire. So I feel like this is you lighting that spark. This is you becoming enlightened. You um, really opening up your fiery nature. This is you finding your passion, Virgo. That's what I want to say. You're finding your passion. Okay, we have the Five of Wands and the Star. So, Virgo, this is beautiful energy. I feel like you're finding the time to play. You're finding the time to really do something that you enjoy out of life. You're taking time out to really, um, I want to say rescue yourself from work. That, that, well, yeah, that's very fitting. I feel like you're rescuing yourself from work. You're being very hopeful. You're, this is the beginning of you having a lot of hope, having a lot of inspiration, finding the balance, and really taking time out to play as hard as you work. Okay, and now we're ending this reading. Well, we're not ending this reading, but we're ending this row with the King of Wands. So yes, if you recall at the bottom of the deck, we had the King of uh, the Queen of Cups. So yeah, this is new love coming in. This is a new fire, a new passion, a new lustful enjoyment. Um, this is also a free-spirited person, very assertive, very outgoing, very attractive. And I feel like this is going to bring you a lot of joy and satisfaction this year. And I feel like because this card is at the very end, I feel like it's something that you really didn't expect to come. Um, but here the King of Wands comes out at the last moment, you know, and I feel like it's something that you didn't expect, but you've led up to this moment. You've made these changes. You're, you put in all this work and I feel like you know, this is love coming through for you. This is someone who's going to bring you a lot of passion, a lot of joy. Um, this is also a very creative person. He has a lot of ideas or she has a lot of ideas. Um, but I feel like they're very, very attracted to you. That's what I feel. I feel like they're very attracted to you. And I feel like they're very attractive as well. Okay, what else do we have for Virgo for 2023? What is coming next? Let's get some outcome for Virgo. What is coming for Virgo? Okay, the Nine of Wands. Yeah, go the distance, Virgo. 
go the distance don't stop at the very end see it through make those hard choices and i think those hard choices even though it's hard to make a decision i feel like you're going to take time and you're going to make those hard choices you're not going to stay at a crossroads you're not going to be in a stalemate i feel like you are making those choices to succeed you're pushing through you're battling and yes of course you're battling because you got the ten of cups you got a lot of happiness coming your way virgo so much happiness and you feel like you are mastering something this could also be you really putting in the work for your career Virgo, I feel like you're going to the next level in your career. You could be getting a promotion um, or you could be changing positions altogether, changing careers, but I feel like this is you really mastering something that you do. Your creative energy has mastered this gift. See, she's taken a lot of pleasure making that pinnacle. She's taking time. She's not cutting corners. Um, she's putting in the quality work. Yeah, look what we have again. Yes, Virgo. The strength card comes out again. You have double strength, double balance double courage double wow <laughs> and this is also you loving yourself i feel like your whole perspective is changing um this is unconditional love i feel like you love yourself no matter what you go through or this person this king of wands loves you no matter what Definitely, definitely great energy. Yeah, and we have the two of wands again. So yeah, this is really future building energy. Um, take time to map out your future. Um, make plans, make your goals, make your resolutions, whatever you want to accomplish. Do a, a one-year plan, a six-month plan, a five-year plan. Do a 10-year plan because you have the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom. So this is a new year of abundance for you. Definitely, definitely new abundance, new love. This is also good health, good family. And you have the Ten of Cups as well. So I feel like this is going to be your year, Virgo. This is very, very strong energy, very life-changing um, but the changes that you're going through in 2023 are going to push you to your next level. They're going to push you into your future. Very beautiful energy. Okay, Virgo, this is what I have. Well, no, wait a minute. See, I almost gave up right there. But we still have some cards to pull. I just got so excited because all of these good cards coming out. I just got so excited. Okay, we have the mask. So, Virgo. With the mask energy. I feel like, you know what, you are... Don't put on a mask for someone else's expectations. Someone else's expectations may not fit into your reality. So don't try to wear a mask. Don't try to be someone that you're not just to fulfill someone else's needs. That's how I'm feeling with this situation. Okay. See, we have way too many cards, but I'm going to go ahead and take them. Okay. We have instinct. Follow your intuition. Use your instinct in your in, in your situation. Follow your gut feeling. Okay? We have wisdom. 
you're definitely becoming very wise, very assertive. Um, I feel like you are gaining the knowledge that you need to gain about your situation. We also have service. So I feel like, you know what, Virgo, you may be going into a field or you may be already in a field where you take care of people, where you nurture them. Uh, this could be you being service to your family or community. And you have completion. So, yes, I feel like you are completing some kind of activity. You're going through a transformation. This is just another um, another way of Spirit saying you are going through these huge changes, these huge transformations. And whatever you're doing is going to create balance. It's going to create balance. You also... Look, look at this. We have the scales of balance. We have the scales of balance for the star. And we have the scales of balance for the justice. So I feel like this year is going to be the year of, you know, good karma, good karma coming through for you. A lot of balance. I feel like you are really finding the place where you belong. Um... Okay, what else do we have for Virgo? Okay, more cards want to come out. Okay, we have ears wide open. And we have body and soul. So yes, definitely be aware of your situation. Take notice of your situation, of the people surrounding you. Have your ear to the ground, so to say. Um... You know, listen for people who may be gossiping, maybe um, telling stories about someone else or telling stories about you. Um, because we want to stay away from people like that. We want to steer clear from any gossip, any rumors, any, you know, negative vibrations. And that's the reason why you have the body and soul as well. I feel like you are really nourishing your body. You're working on your spirit, on your on your uh, intentions, on manifesting what it is you want out of life, out of your future. And I feel like that's why all this positive energy is coming into your life. And you want to make sure to keep negative energy at bay. That has no place in your intentions. Okay, what else do we have for Virgo? Yes, full moon in Aquarius. Be real. Always be your authentic self. Don't, and I think we, we just touched on that with um, that mask. Don't try to be someone else or to live up to someone else's expectations. You can only live up to your own expectations because you only have the ability to do so. Okay. What else do we have? We have detoxify, full moon and Taurus. So take time to nourish yourself. See what you're putting into your body. Um, make sure that you are uh, maybe cutting out things that no longer make you happy or keep you healthy. Uh, if you smoke, you may want to quit smoking. If you drink, you may want to cut down on the drinking. Um, but detoxify. Um, don't eat so many processed foods. Eat more vegetables, something that comes from the earth. Um, that also helps with manifestation as well. Okay, Virgo, that is what I have for you. <laughs> now we can go ahead and end. I wanted to end this reading like three times because I got so excited. But this is your beautiful reading, Virgo. And if this reading resonates... Please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. See your moon and rising and your sun. Um, Virgo, happy new year to you. Many blessings. Love and light.